from Vijayalaya Chola to Sundara Chola, the second Paranthera, our hero Vandiyathevan enjoyed watching the biographies of the Chola kings. Aha! What are each of them like? What great heroes? How many great deeds have they done respecting life? Have you ever heard this even in stories and epics? The Chola nation was blessed with such a succession of kings, today all the countries under their rule are blessed countries. Vandiyadevan noticed another important feature in the scenes depicting the histories of the above Chola kings. For every Chola king, the Pavurj Kiratarazar dynasty has been of great help, many heroic deeds have been understood. A Palyavetare was the first to enter the city by besieging the fort of Tanjore, which was held by Mutharayar. It was a reaper who shouldered Vijayalaya Kolan Tirupuram Piyam, who had lost both his legs, when he entered the battlefield and performed heroic deeds. Aditha Chola who put a crown on his head and performed Padabishakam was a reaper. When Aditha Chola jumped on an elephant and killed the Pallava Aparajathavarman, it was a Palyavatare who gave Aditha his back and shoulder to enable him to ride. Palyavatareyas were the ones who carried the tiger flag at the forefront of many battles fought by Emperor Parantaka. When Rajaditya falls wounded on the battlefield, a warrior puts him on his lap and shouts, the national forces are losing. He told the news. Vallavarayan, seeing all this in the pictorial scenes, was filled with unspeakable astonishment. It is not without reason that the Palyavatarayas, who are brothers and sisters, are so dominant in the Chola country today. Sundara Chola was not surprised to listen to their ideas on anything. But it is certain that he is now in a big dilemma. The little rascal had some doubts about himself. If the elder comes, that suspicion becomes valid. The sealing ring will be released. Then his fate is the same. Vallavarayan had heard about the Tanjavar underground prison under the administration of Chinap Palyavatarayar. It might even get stuck in there. Once one is locked in a dungeon, it is probably impractical to come back out. Even if he leaves like that, he can leave only skin and bones, completely deprived of knowledge and a mere lunatic. Aha! How to avoid such disaster? Do some strategy and leave the fort before the elder comes. Even the desire to see Pavur Ila Iarani is gone for our hero now. Just survive escape the dungeon, and get out. Even if there is no straw, you can tell the news by seeing Kundave Prati in person. If you believe, believe, if you don't believe it, let it go, but what is the way out of Tanjore Fort? Vandiyathevan suddenly wondered what had happened to the old clothes he was wearing. They have given him so much favor and given him new clothes just to review his clothes. Kundave Devi's leaf must have been caught by the commander, no doubt. The reason why he held his hand like an iron grip so that he would not go back with the poets was now known. A man also knew the reason why he had sent three men with him. Aha! Uh -huh. A strategy. A strategy must be found immediately. Here is a trick. A must see is a hand. Viravel. Success. Vandiyathevan looked out through the portico of the Chitra Mandapam. The entourage of the small harvester was coming on a saddle horse. Aha! This is the time. Don't delay a moment longer. The three cheerleaders who were sitting next to the doorstep and played the socket and stopped playing and got up. The sound of the small hawker coming at the door of the mansion also fell on their ears. Vandiyathevan approached them and said, Brothers! Where are the clothes I wore? He asked. What are those dirty clothes for now? We have given you new silk pithambaras as ordered by the master. Said one. I don't need new clothes, my old clothes are enough. Bring them quickly. They've gone to the laundry. We'll give them as soon as they arrive. That's impossible. You are thieves. I had money in my old clothes. You took it to steal it. Bring it at once. Otherwise. If not, what will you do, brother? Cut off our heads and send us to Tanjavur? But this is Tanjavur. Let us remember. Hey! Are you going to bring my clothes right away? Are you? Brother, I will bring it if there is. 
we have put those dirty clothes to the crocodiles. Will the crocodile's stomach come back? You thieves! Are you playing with me? Here I go to your master and tell him, look. Vandiyathevan started to cross the threshold. One of the three approached to stop him. Vandiyadeva punched him hard on the nose. That's it, the man fell down. Blood started dripping from his nose. Another came with both arms stretched out in front as if he were about to wrestle with Vandiyadeva. Vandiyadeva grasped the outstretched arms and placed one of his legs between his opponent's legs in a twisting twist, that's it. The man screamed Amadai and sat down. Meanwhile, as the third man approached, Vandiyathevan took his feet and kicked the enemy's knee with one leg. He also screamed and fell down. The three suddenly got up and bent to attack Vandiyadeva again. They came very cautiously. Meanwhile, the sound of a horse coming to a stop at the gate of the mansion was heard. Vandiyathevan used all the power of his voice to shout thieves. Thieves! Shouting, he rushed at them. The three tried to stop him. Again thefts. Thefts. Vandiyathevan shouted loudly. At that time, the small gardener asked, What is going on here? He came in asking that. 